Hi everyone, my name is Liam Crabtree and I am here today to give you my fall winter full coverage look. It's a very simple look. It does not require eyeshadow or liner of any sort. It's just, um, you know, it's a base really for whatever you want to put on, uh, whether it be eyeshadow, liner, um, glitter, whatever. So we're going to start out. I'm already primed. My face is already cleansed. I used the ELF um, Blemish Control Primer. You can find this at really any um, Dollar General store or Walmart, Target. Uh, I just got this recently, so it's really full. So what I'm going to go in is I have a, uh, a Fenty Beauty uh, Pro Filter Foundation in the shade 185. Uh, and then I also have Juvia's Place uh, in Cairo 600. I mix these two because one is uh, a good color but not full coverage, and then the other one is full coverage. Uh, and it, I use the Juvia's Place for my highlights and my T-zone. So I have a wetened and dampened beauty blender that's already expanded and been rinsed out and cleansed. Uh, so I'm just going to take three pumps of the Fenty Beauty and I'm just going to do simple one, two, three, four. And I'm going to look, okay, so where's the most foundation right now? My forehead. So I'm going to take this and I'm just going to sponge this out on my forehead. Because I have a lot of stuff up here that I don't like, so we're going to cover this all up. And my makeup is really inspired by a lot of my facial structure. I do, and my skin also. I like to work with what I have. I don't try and, like, cover up anything, you know. You know, I don't try and cover up any of my facial structures, like, you know, my cheekbones. And I don't, I, I mean... I do, but I don't. Like, I'm not trying to, you know, cover my eyebrows. I mean, I... Okay, shut up. My my makeup is inspired a lot by, you know, RuPaul's Drag Race. Let's go with that. It's very drag-inspired. And, um, yeah, it's very drag-inspired. And it, uh, I mean, it just is, yeah, it's... It's pre-drag, you know, like when queens get in their makeup and then they get in their stuff, you know. It's not really based on a certain look, so you can go with, like, whatever you got, you know. So we're just going to continue down. And I start with my forehead first because that's where most of my foundation was. But it could have been my cheeks. It could have been my chin, really. And I'm just using a dampened beauty blender, even though they say to get more coverage, use a, a dry beauty blender. But I'm like, girl, I don't know. I don't use brushes for my foundation because I feel like brushes are not, they, they push it around and don't place it where I want it. So I feel that beauty blenders and sponges are a lot more helpful. So, um, yeah. Okay, this takes forever. Getting in drag, honey, getting in drag. Get your ears. Cover your ears. If you don't do your ears, some of these higher queens don't see you. And if you're not respected by these higher up queens that have a little bit more of a say in the drag community, you're going to get your tail kicked really hard. And also, get your neck. Get your freaking neck, people. Blend down. Blend up. Blend down. Please. I don't want to see a line that stops, like, right here or, like, right here or, like, down here. I want to see it all, you know? I want to see that you've actually put makeup in the places that, you know, a lot of people wouldn't. Take the time to do that, okay? Because people will have more respect for you um, as a drag queen or just as a general person if you have, you know, more of those places blended, you know? People won't go, oh, look at that line, you know? on the back of her neck or whatever, you know. Um, for a long time, I was like, why do I need to do my ears, you know? I, I don't want to get makeup in my ears, you know. For a long time, I thought getting makeup in my ears would uh, mess with my hearing. And I was like, no, I don't want to mess with my own hearing. And my mom's like, that's not how it works. And I was like, oh, it's not? And she's like, no. I was like, oh, well, okay. She said, cover your ears. And I was like, okay. I guess I have to cover my ears. But if people didn't take it so seriously, I probably wouldn't cover my ears, but yeah, people do, so kind of have to. Alright, blending down. And a lot of people swipe their makeup down their neck because, 
you know, when you're doing this, it feels like you're punching yourself in the throat. So, going to do the ears. Alright, now we go back in on these parts of, yeah, go back in on my under eye, and get your eyelids too, okay honey, get your eyelids, do all that, I don't care if you do your eyebrows, just do your eyelids and your inner corner and stuff, make sure that that's there too, okay? Remember, you do your ears, you do your neck, do your eyelids, honey. Do your eyelids, okay? Do your eyelids. Do your friggin' eyelids, okay? Alright, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch from Fenty Beauty to Juvia's Place. And I have such bright lights that it's hard to tell that I have full coverage, you know, not so full coverage stuff on. But trust me, when you look at me in real life, you're gonna be like, oh, that's not very full coverage. And you're gonna go, he needs to step up his game, girl. So we stepped up this game with Juvia's place. Currently, I look like a 60-year-old man because I have wrinkles under my eyes for some reason. I don't know why, but I do. Working on that acne game, trying to get it gone, but it's it's going, so that's good. Really, a lot of people think that putting on, like, primers and pore fillers removes acne under makeup. It doesn't. Don't think that. I mean, it kind of can remove a lot of texture if it if it's small texture. But, like, mine does not remove. My acne does not get removed from simple, you know, makeup hacks, you know. I can't glue it down or anything like that. It's not how it exactly works. I wish, but it's not. So now, I'm going to go in with, probably going to powder, yeah, powder. Actually, no, I have to cream contour. Oh my goodness, forgetting everything I do. All right, give me this and this. I use two contour sticks. Um, I did use, for a long time, the Juvia's Place shade sticks until I ran out. Um, so, I use Nepal, and uh, I used another one, but I lost it. Um, so, Nepal, but right now I'm going to go in with Wet and Wild Shade uh, Mega Glow Sticks Contour in 805 Call Me Maple. And I'm just going to lightly do that. I'm trying to go lower, because it... I always do it so that my cheekbones are, like, higher up. And I don't want it. Like, I don't want it, like, super high. I like my chin being super high. And my nose. But not... Definitely not my, my cheekbones. I hate it when I do my cheekbones too high. And I'll probably do it really high tonight. Because I just... I, I suck at the placement of it. I really kind of suck at that placement level. So, like, right there you can see that, like, that. That's what I want. I want more uh, of a... Want more, like, I don't know. I just want more. I don't know. I want more evenness and let more lower. So don't also don't blend too thoroughly, because when you put on that setting powder, it's all gonna get softer. So don't over blend, because we need it to remain strong for when we do these contours, for when we do these. Other powders, but other um, stuff. All right, so now we're gonna line top with this clay colored one. I had a tin when I got this, so they were like, "Oh, you need this one," but really, it makes me look really gray. It's amber. I'm just gonna line the top of this with amber. So this gives it a little bit more definition. Now we blend these two together. Now 
Okay. Now I can put all this away and Jacob Schumann, would you team Charles? Would I J date James Charles if I had the chance? Uh, that's a really good question. Uh, and it's a really simple answer. No. Uh, James Charles is not, like, a person you really want to date. More so look up to. Like, you have that kind of, like, respect for him. Um, so now, so yeah, that's, that's a, a no. <laughs> um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in. I don't know why I pulled concealer out. I'm going to go in with some setting powder. And then I'm going to do my uh, powder powder highlights or powder contours after I pick up my primer. Okay, cool. All right. So this is Airspun. Cody Airspun, that grandma powder, as Trixie Mattel calls it. Um, and I'm just going to pour. I'm running out, girl. I am running out. Good Lord. There we go. Pour a lot out because we're going to need it, girl. We're going to need it. Trust me. All right. All right. Powdering these contours because they'll get softer. See that? See how it got, like, really soft on that cheekbone? Mm, okay. Okay, stop. Stop. Okay, cool. Um knocking off that excess and now getting the neck because girl don't want your neck to be all damp all friggin night while you're at the club I'm that girl that'll do tricks and flips and splits and stuff in my lip syncs so like girl I have to be set everywhere so don't mind my phone vibrating I need to be set. I need to be locked in really good. I have to have the coverage, girl. The coverage. Doing pretty good so far. I don't know, girl. Looking pretty good. Look at that. So we highlight or con we set the lower half of my face first because airspun has a little bit of coverage on it. So when you have like a lot of coverage going and you have darker um, parts of your face going on, you want to set those first to make sure that they're nice and correct and correctly placed. And now we set the lower part because we have a lot of stuff to do. I mean, we set the we set the lighter the T zone last because we want it to look as bright as possible. So leaving it unset for a long time will help it get lighter. And you really want to take your time with this, the, the setting of the, setting it, setting the foundation and the creams. Because if you don't set your creams correctly, your foundation will come off. Trust me. Watch Trixie Mattel's um, ooky spooky goth tutorial. It's one of those videos. I don't know. I'm not sure if it's actually that video, but in one of her more recent videos, her foundation came off because she didn't set correctly. And I was like, girl. You should know this. To powder light the house down, girl. I don't know, girl. And so it was kind of like, hmm. I don't know. I feel like you're not allowed to mess up on stuff if you know what you're doing. All right. 
Now that that's done, we can, we're not gonna put this away yet because we have a lot to do. Give me this, just give me. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull out my powder contours. Yes. And I, I contour with three things. I contour with blush, I contour with set um, finishing powder, and I also contour with uh, um, a contour palette. So that's not blush. Oh, there it is. I was like, wait, no. All right. And then we're going to pull out, I don't know why I put that away. We're not done with it yet. Pull out some more setting powder. This is the ELF HD finishing powder. Uh, it's really amazing for... Um, if you want to look really shiny, um, airspun will lock stuff in and it will give you a little bit of coverage. So while, oh, sh I have to go grab my brushes. Okay. All right. So while we do this, um, I should have gotten my brushes beforehand and I didn't. That's my fault. I'm really bad at this, like really bad at doing live. So I'm still getting the hang of it. So now we contour and I grab quite a couple brushes. I grab a blush brush or a flat top brush from BH Cosmetics. I grab an ELF contouring brush. I grab some brush that my mom got that she gave me. Um, it's unicorn shaped. Um, and then I grab a bundle monster brush, but these stopped producing. And then I grab an, a fluffy blending brush from BH Cosmetics. I'm going to start off first. Where's my card thingy? Where's my, there it is. I like to grab, in order to get my contours nice and pristine, I use a flat card and I line it up. I'm gonna go lower today. Mm, right there. I'm not exactly going Trixie Mattel contour, but I'm not going, you know, that little bit right there, you know, just barely contouring. So I want it to be lower so that you go lower than you should because when you place it, it'll be higher up. So like, you know, down here, down here, you think it'll be down here, it'll be actually right here. So if I put it right here, it'll actually be like right here. So like it moves, so you have to like pre, pre-meditatively counteract that. So you go lower. So that's there, all right. So first off, I start off with my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette, and I need more of this, and my gotcha day is coming out the day I was adopted, the day my parents got me. All right, I start off with my Bundle Monster brush and my card. It's a Reebok card, um, I think from when I got skates. And I just go a little bit lower than I really want to, but we go in anyways, and we just grab some powder right here and just kind of place her on. And then, so it's, t it's tap, 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 swipe, 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 you know? Mmm, look at that. Really good. And you blend it out. Look at that. Look at that. So amazing. Don't mind my guinea pig. He's got full food and water. I know it. I checked it this morning. No, you just blend it in, girl. All right, that looks good. Now we do the other side. Something in my eye. All right, so remember, you have to go lower. So we go lower than we need to because, you know, it'll counteract that really high contour. Because you don't want to, you know, put a dark color over your, your jaw, your cheekbone. You want to put a bright color over your cheekbone to highlight the bone. Showing people that that's where your bone is. Mmm, that one's too high. Mm, or is it? I don't know. It's fine. It's like your no people drag queen's nose contours. They're not always gonna get it right. They'll get it close enough and go with it. Mm, yeah, it's it's close enough. See? Close enough, girl. Oh, I did go too low on that. It's fine. Okay. It looks harsh in this because there's bright lights coming at me, um, but it's not, trust me. <sighs> All right. 
Now we're going to go in with blush and deepen up the contour. All right, where's my card? So now you can actually, you know, use a different... I use now the flat top brush for the blush. And this is a Juvia's Place brush, a blush, excuse me, Juvia's Place blush. So now you deepen it. And then we'll cut right here if we need to. Mmm. I hate it when I cover my whole bone, all of that. I hate it when I do that. Because that's not what you're supposed to do. So now my whole friggin' jaw is contoured when it doesn't need to be. All right, now we're going to go in and set it with more setting powder. But this is a finishing powder from ELF, Eyes, Lips, and Face. Oh, and I forgot to powder contour my jaw. That's fun. All right. So now, before I contour my forehead, I'm going to try and cut my jaw with my setting powder. All right. Mmm. And see, it's too high up. It's on the bone. It needs to be down here. So I should have gone higher, lower up, lower down. But you know what, girl? It's okay. What are you going to do? It's okay. It's okay. All right. This one's this. This one needs to be like down. Mm. It's fine. I hate it when I do this wrong. I really do. It's really annoying. All right, so now we're gonna go in and powder contour. My forehead and you don't need a card for this because if you used a card you wouldn't do it correctly so you go along the top of your head the top of your forehead because you're trying to dim down the amount of bone that you have here because women have a rounder forehead so you're trying to round it out too because the highlight of the of the, the forehead is more in the middle so you kind of round it out I mean, this this is not going to work properly because there's giant bright lights in my face. But if you see where I'm putting the powder, you'll understand what I'm trying to get across to you. Hopefully. If you don't understand, you'll have to watch a lot more makeup tutorials. Drag tutorials, at least. Okay, now we're going to deepen it with blush. We're actually going to warm it up because this is a cold tone. And blush has a, this brown has a warmer tone to it. So then you put the brown along the top of it. All right, cool. Now you set it with the setting powder, this finishing powder. And this just kind of blends everything together so it looks a little bit more even. Cool. I 
cannot blow that away. I can't go because uh, if I will, I'll lose product and I don't want to lose product right now. So I'm going to go in and try and reassign my contour just a little bit by just kind of dimming down that contour. See, that works! Oh my god, that was so hot. Alright, now we cut that, cut that, cut that, cut that, cool. Right, cool. Now it's time to move on to the brows. So putting all of these away right now, for right now. It's time to move on to the brows. Fun. Not. And my brows are really gray right now. So what we're going to go do is we're going to switch. Hold on. So we're going to switch out brushes for a brush for a brush. And put these all right here. Give me my spoolie. Give me my pomade brush. I have a specific pomade brush. And just set you right there. All right. Now, we are going to spoolie out the brows. Going forward and up. Reversing against the grain of the brow. Getting all of that dry product out. All those foundations, all those powders, just getting them all right out of there. Pushing them up and then spooling them back in place so that now they're a little darker. Notice that one's darker, one's not dark. All right. That's one. All right, so now you take this and you just go at it, girl. Literally, it looks like a snowstorm in my, in my eye right now. Right, now you gotta spool it back in place. All right, and my eyebrows are not really. Even, I guess you could say. So what we're going to do is... I forgot my brush. Can I just... Yeah, here, what I'll do. This is a pomade brush, but it works. So what we're going to do is we're going to fill in the front of the brow with a green... Because green counteracts some other thing. And usually I'd have a ginormous mirror right here to help me. But I need all of the light I can get. So, well, clearly I don't because, sorry, I'm just cold, warm tone, cold tone, warm tone, cold tone, warm tone, cold tone. I hate that. All right. I'm just going to right there. All right. So I press it and hold it in that exact spot. Grab some green right here. I'm just going to press her in there, girl. Press her in there. I think I messed it up. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, cool. Cool. All right. So now we just do that again. Without the stencil. Right now. All right, so now that we have the front tail of the brow, front end of the brow done. We can go in with the powders, with the the cream, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade and line out the back. Good Lord. I use very little pomade. Very little pomade in case I screw it up. So this way you can get Really precise brow, really precise brow. See, that's not big enough, so we go in a little bit more. See, that, that's what we want. We want something just, it just kind of helps. Yeah. Yeah, 
And like, it looks too long. It's not, trust me. This camera, this phone, ugh. It works, but it doesn't work. Yes. There we go. Look at her. She is set and ready to go, girl. All right, time for the f other brow. I thought that pomades were not something that like everyone uses, and I thought it that a pom this was just a one thing specific for this makeup brand, but it's not. A pomade is actually a real thing. And I never knew that. It's used for like cleaning shoes. Shining shoes, you know, there's... Oh my goodness, those two are completely off, but... Oh my goodness. <laughs> but they're like, that's the way that the brow goes. Oh my goodness. Ugh. <sighs> It looks so good, though. Damn it. Ugh. You're kidding me. Ugh. I have two completely different brows. I hate this. Brows always get me. But then again, they always get James Charles, so it's okay. All right, so now we have to spoolie this out. Ugh. I hate that it looks so good, but they're two completely different brows. Literally. One's masculine and one's feminine. Ugh! I hate this. I'm always, whenever I get my brows done, I always ask for a feminine style. Because this one looks so masculine, like, just like, you know, really sexy. And then this one's like business, like business brow, casual brow. So like, ugh, I wish I could have more archy brows. But I don't, because God hates me, because I'm gay. No, I'm just kidding. No. All right. Putting this back. All right. Now it's time for mascara. And then a lip, and then we're done. All right. All right, so mascara. Mascara, I need a mirror for. Like, I need a mirror. So, I'm going to use a mirror because if I don't use a mirror, I will stick myself in the eye and my eye will be damaged forever. I'm going to pull it over here. You're not going to be able to see it, but it's right here. Like, right here. And I'm using Too Faced Damn Girl Mascara to cover these gray ass, dusty ashes. Dusty lashes. This formula is so thick, it curls my lashes for me. Look at that. One lash, all complete. Looks pretty sickening, right? How you have to do the bottom lashes is like you put your finger un under them and like swipe but like that doesn't work for me so because I, I will poke myself in the eye so now I have to go in Right now I have to come over here, put it all pull you over here so I can see. Good lord! Oh my goodness! Ow! 
And really, when you're doing your lashes, go to the root of the lash. Cover the whole thing. Cover the whole thing. Don't go out. Don't even, don't, don't perform. If your lashes are not fully covered. Now, if you're going to wear falsies, like Trixie Mattel falsies, like six stacked 301s, it doesn't matter because no one's going to see them, you know. But, like, it still is important to when you're doing regular makeup to... Cover them. Cool. So now I have bottom lashes for the first time ever, which is scary. <laughs> oh my God. It's so weird seeing bottom lashes. Looks like a little bug crawling out of my, my eyes to come and kill me. Oh my God. It looks so weird. Oh my God. I hate that. No, I love it, but it's so weird. All right. Now it's time to... Oh. It feels so weird. It looks so weird. Ew. Okay. Now, uh, usually I would go into the chat stack and, like, get all this residual foundation and stuff off my lips, but I can't, so, because it's not here, and plus, I don't want to take you guys anywhere else. So after chapstick and making sure your lips are clean and primed, if you have a lip primer, there there are lip primers out there. Go in with a lipstick of your choice. This is an LA Cream LA Cream <laughs> Girls or something. I don't even know. Um LA Cream cream lipstick. Um so in the shade Candied Candied like a past tense. And then I overline my lips like that little bit. Makes me look more. And then usually after this, I would go in with my <laughs> little um, bit of, hold on, let me clean off my mirror so I can see in, see in it. Good Lord. All right. So now I want to highlight the tip of my nose because it's all blah. And I have a lot of texture on my cheeks so I don't highlight my cheeks. Um, but I'm going to go in with a pinky and go into this middle color here. They're not labeled. Don't yell at me. They're not labeled. It's the Capricorn Zodiac palette. It's a, it's a shadow palette and a, it's got a highlighter in it. I'm going to ever so slightly highlight my nose and just lightly highlight it. Lightly highlight it. And a highlight my leg. All right, so I think that is James, or not James Charles. 
I think that is my makeup complete look. Luke, all complete. It looks okay. I mean, I think it looks good for me, knowing who I am. But, like, it's still, there's so many parts of it that I know I, I, I'll hate in, like, 20 minutes. Be like, oh, I should have done this better. Oh, I should have done this better. But other than the contour being too dark and too large and not cut enough, it looks amazing. So, thank you all for watching my makeup tutorial. Uh, I am on October 15th or 16th. I can't remember which day it is. I should. It's my gotcha day. So, I'm going to be going to Ulta Beauty, not school, and updating my makeup stock, which is actually this drawer pull out this drawer. It's got all of my makeup in it. Sponges, uh, lipsticks, foundations, uh, shadows, you know, whatever. This is where I keep all of the goods. So, yeah. There's that. All right. So, I hope you all enjoyed watching this, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye, everyone. Have an amazing weekend.